Oh, this is what it looks like up close. So we're back on the river today and we're going to check out a new spot. I'm uh, really kind of excited about this area because there was a lot of Civil War activity. There was a little bit of fighting here, a lot of camping, a lot of troops going back and forth all during the war. Unfortunately, this river is a little bit cloudy still. We had some rain uh, in this area not too long ago, uh, about a couple inches. So it's gone down. You can see it was actually up on top of these, see the dirt on these rocks here, so it's here. Uh, it's all kind of cracked. That's silt from a recent flood. You can see it also on the leaves. That was the height. So if I had been standing here uh, just a few days ago, it would be uh, about another 12 to 14 inches deeper. And we would not be able to uh, really detect very well. So hasn't gone down all the way, but it's gone down enough for us today. Ooh, that almost rhymes, doesn't it? Let me get my stuff out and we'll, uh, we'll get to digging. All right, so I got my gear out and I'm pretty much ready to roll. What I'll do is I'll show you the very first target I dig. Then I'm just gonna kind of dig on my own until I start finding some things. Gonna be digging a lot of the iron today because like I said, there was civil war activity in this area. And uh, if they threw a bayonet or a pistol or a cannonball in the creek here, I don't wanna find it. Today we're using the Garrett AT Max. I'm gonna turn her on. Zero program. I'm gonna crank the sensitivity up just a little bit, maybe to about 10. Uh, we'll, hear, we'll hear bayonets as long as we keep it below about 18. Well, as it turns out, the first signal I'm going to dig is actually iron. It's right where we were standing when I started the video. Too bad it's almost clear enough to go into water, but not quite. But anyway, I got a nice, there's a lot of signals in, right around this rock pile. I got a fairly decent iron signal right here. So I want to dig that. I mean, it could be a horseshoe. It could be a ball of aluminum foil, but I suspect it's going to be a nice piece of old iron. Hopefully I got my pick in here. I do with a little I got a small magnet on it and I really ought to clean this off the stuff here this is actually not a very powerful powerful magnet not, not like I usually use because my last one is still in the river somewhere uh, my favorite one is out in the river somewhere I could have a look for it again this summer I think I know exactly where it is how to dream all right so if you don't keep the magnet cleaned off it should be cleaner than this it won't allow the items underwater to stick to it as well because it's got to go through a little bit of layer of dirt there which is actually old rust but anyway let's go ahead and dig this together and i'm gonna put you back away man the water's cold today okay it's right in front of my leg so, ready <laughs> hopefully it's not ah, there it is i think we got it nope i think i felt no maybe not it's a lot of rocks here and this might not pick up a cannonball so yeah i can feel something here under kind of under the rocks i think so i'm gonna have to move a rock or two <laughs> there's some bubbles coming up oh, there's no cracklings under there all right let's see if it's gonna be better now might be under some rocks and uh, got some silt or dirt on top of it because it's just not really sticking to it very well just a weak attraction what i'm doing now is i'm using my my toes i i know i wear army boots combat boots and what i'm doing is i'm using my toes my heels and I'm, I'm prying up the rocks with my toes and kicking them to the side because it's just a lot easier to do that uh, than going underwater a bunch especially when it's kind of grody still from the rains all right let's see what we got Take some rocks out of the way. It'd be a lot easier if I just went underwater, but I don't really want to today. Not for another day or two in this in this river. Okay, there's a bunch of iron over here, but it feels small like it feels like it's probably fence wire. Because it's kind of bouncy. It might be what we were hearing, but I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna put you away so I can use both hands because it's a little hard to do it with just one hand but I'll promise I'll get you out and show you what it is no matter what it is all right so I've got a piece of the object up and it actually is some fence wire a big ball of it down there and that's what farmers would do is you know when they're taking down old fences they just kind of ball it all up and just pitch it in the creek so that's what I'm hearing that's why it's giving kind of a good signal because it's a lot it's not just a single strand Here's my first non-ferrous target, meaning target that didn't sound like iron. And it's an old uh, Budweiser can. 
and unfortunately this was like way up under these rocks i had to dig a bunch of these rocks out to get to it so that's not a real good sign these might have been dumped in back in this budweiser age it's a pile of rocks where i found a beer can i kind of worked my way up here uh there's not a whole lot of signals there that aren't that don't sound like beer cans or fence wire so i wanted just to show you that ball of fence wire right there so i guess it was probably a roll but that's what we're hearing down there and it's all falling apart i dug one other decent signal that's you know something that sounded good and it was another beer can um i'm not sure what that is peels peels light so don't know how old that is either but there's a lot of signals down there that sound like beer cans uh, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig them. Uh, if we had found like one drop bullet there I dig all those signals, but because we haven't yet. We'll just keep moving. Uh, let's see I'll go work our way upstream. We have to go out around here if it's not too deep <laughs> We'll run around there anyway, I guess, but if it's deep I'll have to get in the boat. Otherwise, we'll just walk along kind of listening for the big targets like cannonballs There's uh, sticks and stuff under water Will trip you up and really mess your legs up so i'm hearing lots of little pieces of iron you can see it's not too it's not too deep here so it's not too bad all right i'm gonna put you away and uh, we'll see you up there somewhere look at these rocks they look like it almost looks like it was stacked I wonder, but i saw that thing i wonder what that is what do you think that is big cushion maybe oh yeah so I, that's a bean old bean bag you see those are the old styrofoam beans <laughs> Whenever I see something like that, I, the first thing I always think of is it's a, uh, you know, bag full of dead kittens or something. Unfortunately, that's one of my early childhood memories was finding a uh, bread bag full of dead kittens on the creek. And I was probably like seven years old. It was pretty horrifying. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Okay, well, here's my first old find, and I don't know if you uh, have watched my videos regularly, but I found one of these in my uh, last video by that big stone bridge. I know this is part of a, like a horse outfit um, i think a piece of wood goes through there and maybe a chain or something goes on there i can't i have to look up what that is i do find a lot of these in the river but that's old that could be 1700s easy or 1800s but it's uh, definitely a uh, a animal powered era <laughs> I'll just look it up, okay, so I can just tell you what it is next time. Still working my way along these rocks here, which I think was an old wall probably, because there is a field up there. I just found this. This is a piece of lead, which I do believe is a uh, was made into a fishing sinker. So that's some type of homemade fishing weight. You can, if you look in the end right there, it's bevel there, bevel there, and there's a hole that goes through the top. That's where they would have tied the string. So, you know, that could be quite old. That's possibly, that could possibly be Civil War era or before or after. I mean, it's really hard to say when you find something just like that. But um, I'm really happy to find that because I do like to, uh, I do collect the homemade sinkers and I have a million different <laughs> varieties. And I want to say, imagine that because, of course, they're all handmade and every single one's different. And I have a lot of them. Good little find. I'm not going to say I'm on the board yet because we've got to find something like maybe a coin or a bullet for that, I think, or, or a button. Like another nice homemade sinker. That's a beauty right there. Very nice. So imagine that's another homemade sinker, although I don't actually see a hole that string would have gone through, but I don't know what else it would be. Kind of almost has a shape of a tire weight, an old tire weight, but. I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. Hmm, it's lead. It's got a little clay bank here and there's another dumping area. And I've been finding a few things. I got a little blue bottle, probably a Noxima bottle, and a white bottle, <laughs> a jar I guess I should say. It might be old right there. Um, I did find, there's a, let's go look at this real quick. Put that down, there's a little battery right here, a nine volt battery maybe um some type of battery some bricks now that's something weird right there i should know what it is I thought it was a rifle cartridge at first but it's definitely not you see uh at this lower end here where my thumb is you can see it's, it's rough around there so that's it's made to grasp i think i don't know looks i don't guess it's some type of mechanical pencil i think it's too heavy for that but i'm mm, not sure you got me on that one well, look what we found. We got ourselves an unopened beer. Are you that thirsty? 
I'm not. <laughs> this must be another little dumping area right in here because there's a bunch of junk in here. Uh, this is a big old piece of copper. It sounded really good, so I went and dug it. It's uh, obviously, look, I guess maybe it's a burner, gas burner of some sort. Not 100% on that, but there's a lot of junk in here. As I was digging that, I was digging up big pieces of uh, flat glass. So that's really not very old. I saw something roundish here, though. It's like a bed spring. <laughs> Yeah, look at that it's probably a bed spring oh well yeah if you look there there's uh cinder blocks and stuff so this a absolutely has been a dumping ground but the reason i got you out i wanted to show you this cool rock i've got like a uh weird scream skull or something just a big old chunk of limestone this is turning out to be kind of a nasty creek look at that mess right there that's horrible isn't it just like a piece of pipe that's like plumbing for plumbing i guess and i can see it looks like uh something off of a vehicle car or something right there there's definitely a lot of disgusting <laughs> stuff here uh, uh okay we'll keep going a little bit further here's that big iron thing i saw i wanted to show that to you let me show you this um actually just eyeball this piece i wonder what that is anyway that's uh iron there it looks like it's got wire sticking out of it maybe it's like a big battery or something some type of weird battery no idea let's go ahead and dig this thing here it's doing this it's a really high signal so it's probably pretty big oh cool that's a flashlight right there but yeah that's a flashlight it's kind of an older style that could be as old as i am i guess not a great find, but at least it's a find. Boy, if it was a little bit more clear, we could probably be picking up all kinds of good stuff like this. <laughs> Have a boat full. Well, I looked down and saw that. I do believe that is a gun. <laughs> I think it's a gun of some sort. Looks like a shotgun down at double barrel, probably. Oops, well, just the barrels. All right, so we have a double barreled shotgun barrels that's what we have here so hard to say how old that is it's definitely not something i'm going to try to fix up and use again but we'll look around and see if we can find the rest of it it's probably in here somewhere but there's so much iron that um if we don't find it pretty quick i'm not going to worry about it because it's uh probably not like a civil war era <laughs> it may not even be as old as me it's hard to say i see all kinds of bones there's some bricks and a dead animal. I guess that's a deer that someone pitched in the river. There's a skull right there. So yeah, it's, it's pretty disgusting. I'm definitely not going to stick my head underwater here. I'm just going to poke around here a little bit. There's a lot of bones in here. And these are uh, probably deer bones, but they're a lot older than the ones that are over there against the bank. Uh, you can see there is plastic trash bags, broken bottles, a lot of aluminum. Piece of aluminum, pieces of junk over there. So I think I'm gonna skip on by this area. Here's a bottle here. I don't know how old that is or what it is exactly, but like, oh, it's got some writing on it. Huh, I don't know what that is. Well, I thought I had a good one here. I lost my pick, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm trying to, there we go. Um, I had a nice big iron signal. That's not my pick. And I went down to um, grab it. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, but I don't feel my pick. That's weird. That well, might be an artillery shell, but it's not. It's a great big old piece of, I don't know. It's, it's, a sol it's like almost solid, except for that slot that's cut into it. So I don't know what that would have gone to. Old timey um, sewing machine, I believe. <laughs> that's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a sewing machine. There's a big battery here. And something weird looking there. I'm not sure what this is. Um, well, that probably, probably goes with a sewing machine. Been looking around with metal detector, but there's just so much just junk. I'm not really getting a good feeling about this area either. <laughs> is that a shovel? Ooh, look at that giant spider. Um, yeah, so there's a shovel. Um, one other thing that was kind of interesting I wanted to show you. Um, this is a 
Well, some of you guys will know what that is. This is actually part of a pulley system, probably for a barn. I probably would have hung up on the very um, top of the roof on the inside. And there would have been a big wooden pulley in there. And they would have used that to move hay and other stuff around inside the barn. And I know that because we had these on the barn where I grew up. And I have a pulley just like this. Except with a wooden wheel still on it at my house that I still use. I see a hat. Hope there's no skull inside of it. But let's check it out. Ooh. <laughs> I guess somebody, uh, kayak or canoe or somebody probably lost it. Probably got turned over on those rocks right there when it was higher. Ah, best find of the day. Working my way up river and I've come across kind of a neat historical um, artifact of sorts. You see it's getting a lot more rocky up through here. Still a lot of junk. There's, you can see automobile tires up there. But check out this rock pile that I'm standing on. It comes from the bank. Kind of scoots down the river on an angle. There's a gap and then it goes back up the other side. It's a big V in the river. And what we're standing on is called a uh, something called a fish weir or a fish trap. This is something that would have been built by either the Indians 5,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, whatever. Or, you know, the European settlers also built them too. So we can't say for sure which one uh, built and used this. Because they used to use these, they were legal to use up until about, I don't know, 100, 200 years ago. And then they outlawed them because they you catch too many fish, <laughs> apparently. Well, what they would do is they'd have these rock walls going down with just a central area going up there. And the people, whether it be Indians or the uh, Europeans, would get in the water up there, splash the water, chase all the fish down river, and they would come down here and go into uh, baskets and things that they would have set up there. What the Indians used, and probably the European uh, Americans too, is they would use, uh, they would weed these baskets out of, you know, tree, you know, tree limbs, and it'd be, you know, this big maybe on the end, and they go down to kind of like a point, so the fish would go in there and they couldn't get out. And they might be five feet long, six feet long, something like that, and there might be a whole bunch of them going across that entrance. Yeah, so they could do, catch them that way, or they could make like little picket fences down there too, so the fish would get down there, couldn't get through the fences, and they could just jab them with spears or shoot them with bows and arrows. I'll look around a little bit. I don't have high hopes of finding much here. We're going to go up a little bit further. Lots of beer cans. You can see all kinds of just detritus stuck in these rocks. Um, the whole river has been like that so far. Kind of disappointing, but it is someplace I wanted to check. So this is kind of something interesting. This is a piece of lead. It's got a string on it, and I found these before. Now, I'm not 100%, but I think... Uh, people told me in other videos that these are weights for duck decoys. Not 100% on that, but I know I found these before and I can't imagine what <laughs> what else it, it would be used for. So that's kind of a neat little find. Nothing else, I can always scrap it out for the lead. Well, there's some river treasure. <laughs> oh yeah. That is a, um, I don't know what brand it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of rod that is either, but we'll definitely save it. And across the river there, on that rock face, it looks like a hello cave right there. I'm sure I brought my flashlight with me. We could go over and check that out. Might anyway, but won't be able to see back very far. Well, this is about as far as we go today. I was hoping to make it up to this stone bridge, and we did. This one is actually still in uh, use. Got a lot closer to it. Well, this is what it looks like up close. Beautiful bridge. You look up there that's part of the dam there and it went across and there was a mill that sat over there oh well we'll start here next time next time we get on this river until then adios Take the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket, Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep, hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother
Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care.